We're designing spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we look at all aspects of your home and property, including lifestyle. Absolutely great topic, so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, today we start designing spaces dealing with child safety. Now, how safe are the outlets in your home? If there are little ones about, you probably have those plastic caps on the outlets not in use. Well, guess what? They're not all that safe. There is a way to ensure outlet safety, though, and we have the story. Take a look. Did you know that close to 25,000 children were injured in the course of 10 years by sticking things into electrical outlets? In fact, the National Electrical Code began requiring for residential construction that they put in tamper-resistant receptacles in 2008. Now, what if your home was built before 2008? Well, today on Designing Spaces, we're going to be solving that electrical dilemma. And joining us today is Michelle Salambini, who is product manager for Tampa Resistant Receptacles with Cooper Wiring Devices. Michelle, welcome to Designing Spaces. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, now I know a lot of times when it comes to do-it-yourself projects, especially electrical projects, a lot of people get scared and they think, all right, this is too much for me. Maybe I need to hire a professional, right? Right. It, electrical work can be very scary, but it doesn't have to be. In a few minutes, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So what what makes a tamper-resistant receptacle resistant, and why is it so important? First of all, if you think about a receptacle, and when you plug a plug into a receptacle, you've got metal parts going into a receptacle mm -hmm. that connect with the metal parts inside, and that is what completes the circuit and allows for electricity to transfer, so whatever you've plugged in is now on. So in a tamper-resistant receptacle, you have a shutter in there that won't allow you to stick something into one side or the other side. You have to stick a plug in at the same time, oh. and then that way you can power on what, whatever you've just plugged in. All right, well, I think we have some plugs to go take a look at. Let's go. So we're in a family's home inside of their beautiful playroom, and I noticed they're using plastic caps on all of their outlets. And those are good, but I'm going to show you a permanent safety solution. Okay, great. So what do we do? Well, the first thing that we need to do to ensure our own safety is to go to the circuit breaker and make sure that we turn off the circuit so we cut the electricity to that receptacle. And then we'll come back into the room, and we can do a couple things. We can use a circuit tester to ensure that the power is off, mm -hmm. or we can do something as simple as plug in a lamp, turn it on, and if it doesn't come on, we know that we've killed the electricity to that receptacle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the wall plate and then we're going to remove the receptacle by these two mounting screws. And it's that simple. Then we'll pull it out. Ah, no, there, there's the wires. That looks intimidating to me. Electrical work can be intimidating, but as long as you follow the installation instructions that come with the receptacle and consult your local building code, you should be fine. But if you have any concern at all, you should consult or hire an electrician. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to remove this bare wire, which is the ground wire, mm -hmm. snip the wires off, mm -hmm. okay. and we've removed the old outlet. All right. So the next thing is strip these wires mm -hmm. so that we can push them into the back of the tamper-resistant receptacle. Okay. All right. We're ready to install. Take the ground wire mm -hmm. and screw that around the green ground screw. Oh. The next thing is to push the wires into place. It's very simple as just pushing it in, and you'll hear it and feel it click. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we want to do is install the hot wire, and it's easy as just pushing it in to the hole that you have on the back, mm -hmm. and the second one, same thing. And then lastly, we'll put the white wire in, which mm -hmm. goes to the silver colored. All we've got to do now is push everything back into the box, and then we mount the wall plate. We just need to turn on the circuit breaker and our installation's complete. That was very easy. It's very easy. Oh, wow, I have to admit when you started pulling wires out, I got scared, but that looks not too bad. It's very easy. So this is not just something for parents to do, but everyone should do this. Absolutely, especially aunts, uncles, grandparents, anyone that may have children in their home because it's so easy to do. Mm, and now that we know how easy it is to do, where can we find them? You can find them at any Lowe's Home Improvement store, any home hardware store, or also at electrical distributors. 
but you can also get more information on cooperwiringdevices.com or childoutletsafety.org. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for coming in today and showing us how to change out a receptacle. Thanks I learned for a lot. Having me. For more information, you can go to our website at designingspaces.tv. For Designing Spaces, I'm Rhonda Castagna. You know, do-it-yourself projects give such a feeling of accomplishment. I mean, I feel like I could take on anything. Yeah, but when it comes to things like electrical problems, you want that experience pro like we just saw. Okay, yeah, but you know what? I can learn from observing. All right. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> we are out of time right now, though, but here's something you can do with a lot of expertise. Want to say goodbye? There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, goodbye. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next week. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.